Hi, I'm Laura Janczewski. I was an animator on Toonstruck, and I'm presenting my files from the game in a series of Toonstruck videos. This time is Zanydoo. We'll start out by how you get to Zanydoo. By elephant transport, of course. The peanut makes the elephant go forward, and here you need to figure out how to use the mouse to make the elephant go backwards. You use the fertilizer in the watering can to wake him up. Then you can cross over to Zanydoo. This animation, combined with my seagull animation from the gameplay, is shorter than the original animation because they figured out it would be annoying to take that long when you have to cross the scene so many times. I'll play some random sound effects here. Aloha, dung ball! Welcome to Zanydoo. I made a lot of background animations for Zanydoo because we really wanted to make it feel alive. I have a lot of sound effects in my files because I made a Toonstruck theme pack for Windows. Wrong, wrong, wrong! The Crossing Dimensions background isn't actually in Zanydoo. It just had the same random feel, so I put it in. On the Zanydoo clock, you need to set the time so you can get rid of the outhouse security guard. Then he goes off duty, so that's how you get rid of him so you can go inside to flush fish. Here are a few highlights from the Toonstruck theme pack I made. I believe the pointing hand and chattering teeth are cursors that were used in the game. The sound effects are so much better when I put them with some corresponding animation, so I just put them throughout the video. Here are the three wallpapers for the theme pack. Nefarious, CD, and Fluffy. When Toonstruck was being made, all the games for PC were DOS based, so it was going to be the same, but at the end, Windows 95, I think it was, had just come out and they wanted to make a Windows shell for it so it would work in Windows, but it really was still a DOS game. Here's the fish flushing game. I made the water and the pipes animation first, and then I added the fish one at a time for the batch of animations. There are four fish that go through here. The angler, the herring, the puffer, and the sole. I think the outhouse background is one of the best John Piano made for Toonstruck. Next up is Jim's Jim. Again, I had to make a lot of little things come alive here. Stop right there, worm-like insect. Everything had to be random in Zanydoo, so the crazier the idea we had, the better. There was a lot of collaboration of ideas with the team. Anytime somebody had an idea, they'd throw it my way and I'd work on it. Oh! When Drew sits on the Pumpatron to get strong, his body didn't fit the machine at all, so I had to completely redraw his arms. It was so exaggerated, you may notice that his arms actually grow a lot longer than natural. I designed the cat and several other creatures, but it was just a matter of what and how much was needed for the game. <coughs> the way you exit Whack Me says a lot about Zany Do. So here's Whack Me Concepts, the future of abuse technology. Because Toonstruck is like a generic cartoon world, we needed to come up with a lot of stereotypes found in other cartoons. Warp and Woof become downright violent. They were supposed to be like Tom and Jerry, but I think they were more of a ripoff of Simpsons Itchy and Scratchy. A lot of my animations are interactions, picking up and giving items. I have this random animation of Flux coming off of his three-quarter pose, but I'm not sure what it was for. Perhaps it was for him looking at the display case at Whack Me. Here's the original character design of Flux that was made by an artist who didn't stay on the team very long, but he designed Flux to look just like this. When I joined the team, I worked with that designer and the first thing he had me do was to take Flux and draw him from different angles. After he left, the team decided to put Flux on a diet and give him a mouth. I drew the original concept of that here at the bottom of the paper. Oh, major gas attack! I made all the character animations on magenta because it was the least likely color to be used on any of the background images. Here's the first background of the out west area in Zanydoo. You have to figure out how to get rid of the vulture so you can get the arrow for the cutifier. I believe you give him some meat that you pick up from Slab, the bouncer at CD's. All of the vulture animations were done on paper and I still have those. The vulture has a long, economized, idle animation. Squawk! I'm sorry, I don't have a sound effect for it, but I thought it needed one. 
The next background from the out west scene is the ghost town, which was cut. Here you meet the bad cowboy on the saloon tavern porch. If you give him a black hat, that's not acceptable. He wears the black hat, so you need to wear a white hat. You need to paint or bleach your hat. Then you can have a showdown with him. And there are no guns, just a lot of grimaces. I don't actually remember seeing any of the cowboy animations. Here Drew would be talking with the cowboy. You walk out onto the main street to have a showdown with the cowboy. And the showdown was just making faces at one another. It would have been raising an eyebrow, gnarling, nose flare, squinting. And then if you make him show fear, then you win. Next time I'll make a video of the Dark Town.